The day Benga the Boye died was one of the most memorable days in the history of um, radio presentation in Yoruba land and across the southwest. The day he died, it was possible that the whole of radio stations across the southwest was vibrating. I mean, because those days, one of those things I should, you would know that somebody was dead back in the day was that they would play the person's, if he was a musician, they would play his music all through on most radio stations. So, I mean, those days, when, when you listen to radio and you, you hear a particular artist being played over time, you get this fear in you that perhaps maybe he had passed on. And oftentimes, I mean, nine out of ten cases, you might be right. We were thinking that it was going to be one of those pranks that I used to play. You know, it was a very playful person. So we thought it was just one because earlier, some about I think a year or two years earlier, he had been pronounced dead for a couple of days and he later resurrected. And he went ahead to shoot one of his most important works that he to do. So we felt it was one of those pranks. But I mean, over time, we realized that it, was, it wasn't a prank. That it was real, for real. So I'm here somewhere around Bengadeboy's hometown of Bongon and I'm here to tell the story of one of Nigeria's most important um, broadcasters of his generation, Benga Adeboye Abefe Fumoto. On the 30th of April 2003, when Benga Adeboye died, even though there was no Twitter, there was no Instagram, there was no Facebook, and news flowed quite slower than it is now, the news shook the entire part of your balance. And across different parts of the country, people knew that somebody had died. It was that influential and significant as far as broadcasting and um, radio was concerned. Binga was very, very important. He was an iconic comedian of his generation. So, just to give the ambience of the part where Binga grew up, he was actually essentially from Bongo and uh, Odeomu, and that's why he called himself Omo Odebo. A mismatch of the names of Bongo and Odeomu, he was a very great artist. Now, join me in this small journey as I take you through the life and times of Binga the boy. Elijah Olua Gemiga Deboye was born in Odeomu, Aida, the local government area of Fushun State. He was born on September 30th, 1959, to Pa Deboye and Madam Rebecca Tinola Deboye. He was a singer, comedian, radio presenter, and master of ceremony. As a child, Binga was often considered to be forward by his parents and people around the neighborhood. By the time he was in secondary school at Oromiyop Memorial Grammar School in Ileife, he had gained quite a reputation for being the number one clown in the school. He was that kind of student that could actually bail himself out of trouble by simply telling a joke. And that was in the 1970s. Young Benga Adeboye moved to the big city of Lagos to in search of greener pasture. He found a job first at the Nigerian Airport Authority. He was a commercial teche, and his job was basically to pick up foreigners at the airport, old placards, and announce their names from a small notepad. A restless Adeboye found that job quite boring, so with his talent, Adeboye moved to broadcasting. 
he had his program on Lagos State Broadcasting Corporation and it was known as Fumoton. Fumoton would go on to become one of his numerous sobriquets, including Alayemi Bengulu. Bengadivoy created some of the most fascinating characters in Yoruba comedy and broadcasting. Two of the major characters are Ituba Baita and Laesia Bishop Mille. Benga had the unique style and talent of being able to switch voices and set the tone and the pitch of his voice to reflect different character within a nanosecond. He was that talented. At the height of his glory, many people even felt that perhaps Benga was using some metaphysical powers to arrest the attention of people and get the kind of audience that he was able to amass within a short period. Benga was quite a generous and carefree person and one of those things that were considered to be his downside was his inability to actually hold on and say no to people. He was always giving out. He was so generous to the point that people actually felt alarmed when at his funeral, the only house he was able to build remained uncompleted somewhere around Akute area of Ogun State. Benga is said to have founded the Freelance Broadcaster Association of Nigeria, the FIBAN, alongside eminent radio MCs like um, Guki Babalola, Bashira Disababagboin, Oyemi Fajemi Lain, Eric Kenny Shobu, Dan Kazim Fatah Adeniyi, and some other big wigs in the Yoruba freelance broadcasting industry. Nollywood actress Fiti Abalogun is said to have hit the limelight when she featured as a dancer in one of Benga's musical videos. Benga was a bundle of talent and was considered one of the most important voices on radio in the Southwest at the height of his glory. Adeboye had several nicknames from the different characters that he played on radio. He was known as Fumoton, Alaji Pastor Lu Abefe, Jingbe Tiele, and Alaimi Bingulu, and numerous others. Sometime in 2002, Benga was reported to have been suffering from kidney related diseases. He was off radio for a brief moment, and that ignited several conversations off the radio with people saying that he was here. He will come back to deny all of the allegations and said that he was fine. Briefly after the rumor came the news that he was supposedly dead. He was said to have been pronounced dead for a while and resurrected after several days. Rumor had it in town that he was dead but then he came out and he said he wasn't dead. He released Aye Toto by far his most important artistic work ever after the rumor death. In Naitoto, he narrated how he got to the junction of heaven and he met a pastor in hell and why character and good conduct should be our faith and religion rather than performative religiosity. Benga was so loved that when he came back and released Naitoto, it was a massive hit. He continued to present radio programs but then it was intermittent. But finally, on April 30th, 2003, Benga Deboye passed away in a Lagos hospital. So when the news eventually filtered out that it was real, that it actually was dead, we we were so 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 sad. And I remember that when they did the funeral, when they did the candlelight in Lagos, it was a most emotional spectacle for many people because Benga Deboye was it, it touched lives. It was it was more than a broadcaster. It was it was a producer. It was a director. It was he touched life, and he he helped to redefine the entertainment space in a way that we can't forget easily. Up I mean up to places like um, Kwara and Kogi State, because Binga was not your regular uh, radio host. It was more than I mean it was it was a phenomenal. It was it was so phenomenal in his presentation that he actually built a course of fellowship on radio. And if you put this in the context of what it meant to actually build fellowship in those days, I mean that was 
the days when there was no Twitter, there was no Facebook, there was no Instagram. They had just the radio and maybe in some cases the TV. And they were able to build people, they were able to build um, loyal followers across different parts of the country and even beyond. I mean, Benga did some, he did tours, he, did, he toured some parts of Europe and the United States at the height of his, his, his glory before he died. So, so when the day he died, the day he was pronounced dead, was one of, it was a very, very scary moment for many people. And because he, 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 what he was notable for, I mean, unlike many other contemporaries of his, he was notable for uplifting younger talent. So he had built a long line of talent within the industry across the French states that are, that are meant to be his loyalists. Some were even um, directly copying his style. So when you need to read, need to read, need to read, only being guided by you know. And if you buy my coin, you money, money, then when you tell it, money, feel it. Oh, show me. Need to read, add it in the Joseph Sue. To read, I forget the Joseph Cook. Call him. To read, oh, yeah, don't fish a day, so. To read, no, no, more like that, be fell. To read, Jan, do cool like that, male. To read, bo go and sell it, na, she ni soja. To read, oni layo, tita, beti, ogbo, no, don't fish a day, one military police. When Benga died, almost all radio stations were playing his presentations and he had a long list of um, record tapes that he had done, studio material, um, audiology, um, musicals, and all of that so they were playing all of those steps across all radio stations across the southwest and it was so touching that you could literally feel his death i mean kudos to baiwa um, um uh, films and records that um he was very very instrumental to the celebration of the death and the life of Benga Debuye at the time. He had to bring together so many artists, Moritonda, Pasuma, Elele, to do a night of tribute, to do a record uh, for me, a, a tribute performance for the artist at the time. So you could literally walk on the streets of Lagos and feel the death of Adeboye. You, you could not just have ignored, I mean, have missed it because it was so reverberating that it could it literally touched every element every everybody on the streets of lagos of ibado of abelkuta of ilori of Oshibu, of akure of adekite i'm all the way from to kogi and some other part of the north central so it was a day that no one would literally forget quite easily the deaths of benga Deboi shook everyone to the marriage his funeral was almost like that of an head of state or a sitting executive governor. There was a line in state at the premise of Lagos television, LTV Agidimbi, with thousands of fans and well-wishers crying and wailing at the line in state. Afterwards, his body was transported to his resting place in Akute, where he had his uncompleted building. Benga was survived by his wife, Omolara, and his children, Damilola Benga Adeboye and Oladipupo Benga Adeboye. You read that time people considered the golden age of radio broadcasting in the southwest and other parts of Yoruba land. It was at a time in the spotlight with Toba Baleye and Kola Olawi, two other important voices on radio across the southwest. It was a bundle of talent. So it is now 19 years since the death of Benga Deboe. And one of those things that people have said over time is whether we could have a talent that could um, be as phenomenal as Benga was. I mean, over the years, we have seen several characters come out to say that they are Benga Deboe. Some would claim that they are really Benga. We have seen Benga 2.0, we have seen Benga from Water Extra, and all of those characters. But what, what I mean has been quite um, obvious is that the man 
is inimitable, we have been unable to replicate that bundle of talent in radio broadcasting over the years. Now, the argument could be that over time, even the radio listenership has thinned out. People have shifted gradually towards um, social media, towards um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all of that. And um, it is possible that the younger generation are no longer as invested in radio listenership as the older generation was. Then, I mean, urban migration, people are moving away from rural areas where radio was very, very influential in those years. But even now, people, scholars have proved, proven it that radio is still very influential in those places. But the generation, I mean, the, the population that we have in Nigeria today, a bunch of the population of the young people, I mean, a bunch of Nigeria's population are young people, and most of the young people are actually on social media. And you, even urban radio stations where they play hip hop music and all of those funky stuff are barely getting the kind of listenership that the old OYO of, I mean, over your state, for instance, got when it was the rave of the moment. So, radio listenership over time has, 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 has drastically reduced, and of course, the influence of people of talent who did radio um, has actually um, reduced too, to the barest minimum. But nevertheless, it could be also that the talent that we had over the years too hasn't been as phenomenal as the ones that we had in the days of Benga Deboye. <laughs> Fetish. Do you think Binga the Boy had some juju that he used to get people's attention and to be that influential? Do you think that he was he had um, some some hidden secret somewhere? I mean, well, when he died, so many other so many conspiracy theories came up about why he died quite young and why he didn't live long to enjoy the fame and fortune he has gathered and toiled for over the years but then there are medical records to show that he died from a medical ailment and so which could have killed anybody at any time so the idea of saying that it was fetish was quite um was was not the idea of saying that it was fetish was um quite awkward and there is no basis for that in factuality. Ri Olokun la se se da lewo san. Tori alagan na ni joba se fi pile aro sole se gba le. Won ani kokan si won Olorun ku lo ri ri ni won opolo. Bi na ne pa oba lo la se la be la nle. Ka le ri bi kegbe kun si la se kola tin. Tori alako we le bo se data iyorun. Iya o si ni ja lako we common ni. Be a little common in lazy. Tori Bush won't do you for the shells, no long fit die lepa. Bo batin coffee low on my bog, Guruma Yuri Oman Shalori, no, Korea Magbofula, Sina Fila, Tori on my life born and last year, Jack Bali, Commander Masoko, where the last year, where Tori Ashiba, Bomashi Babila, she comes as he, Tori, I die. I was quite phenomenal and is will be sorely missed by everyone who enjoyed this kind of presentation and the joy he brought on the faces of people on radio. So I'll, I'll end this presentation with one of Winger's favorite songs, one of his most popular songs. Ade Boye, Mr. Fumoto, we love to dance to your music. A la befe. Mr. Fumoto, I'd love to say goodbye to you. 19 years. I did. Sleep well, Benga.
name is Oladende. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and um, share this content across platforms so that we can see this video and encourage what we do here to bring you the best of entertainment, of hearts, and of cultural content, actually in Yoruba land, in Nigeria, and across Africa. Until I come your way next time. Bye bye.